Dear Diary, a lot of things have happened these past two weeks. I went on my first official date with Blake, which went awesome by the way, and I also babysat Ellie with Mason. And well, he wasn't that bad. Something I did find kind of weird though is when he got all overprotective over me. But I guess that's just a male instinct. Or wait, what if he has a crush on me? Nah, he doesn't. The only person Mason would ever love is himself. And ew, I would never date him. I mean, he is hot, but Blake is way hotter, kinder, and the better Sterling overall. Wait, ew, why am I talking about Mason? Anyways, speaking about the Sterlings, I went to their house the other morning to hang out, and this is what happened. Mason, wake up! It's already 10 a.m., come on! <sighs> Of course, the first thing I wake up to is Anastasia yelling for me to get up. Ugh, my vision is so foggy right now. Where are my contacts? Ah, there they are. Mason, come downstairs right now. Coming, and it better be important. Ugh, what's up, Anastasia? What are you yelling about now? There you are, sleepy boy. I'm a man, not a boy. Nobody asked. Anyways, besides the point. Have you finished packing for your flight? It's very soon. Seriously, Anastasia? You woke me up to ask me that? Yes. Now answer the question. Have you done your suitcase? No. I haven't at the time, and being honest, I'm not looking forward to seeing father. No, dear. Bands can be so intense sometimes. Sometimes? All he does is yell at me and tell me every single thing I'm doing wrong. The best dad of war surely goes to him. You know he does this out of love, right? Out of love? Who am I kidding? I think there's better ways of demonstrating love, and his ways are definitely unique. I know, Mason. I wish I could bail you, but you already did the last time, and he's going to be really upset if you don't show up. Ugh, you're right. I guess I'll just suck it up. And I'm sure Spencer wants to see you. <laughs> I doubt that. All we do is bicker. Yes, that's true. But whatever. Also, are you coming for breakfast? Uh, maybe? I don't know. I'm gonna go use the restroom. I'll be right back. What the hell are you doing here? Oh my gosh, get out of here. I'm literally pooping. I mean peeing. Ew, why are you pooping in my toilet? Um, can you get out? Ugh, this place smells anyways. Ugh, how could she literally do this? This is my bathroom and my toilet. Bro, what do you mean your toilet? It doesn't have your name on it. Look again. There is no way your toilet has your name on it. Why does it have your name on it? Bro, rich people are actually insane. It's cod marking territory. My bathroom, my toilet. Hurry up and get out of there, you little stink bomb. I need to use the bathroom too, watermelon head. Oh, whatever, weirdo. Bro, I seriously still can't believe this guy has a toilet with his name on it. Like, what? Anastasia, why is Bella here? Why is she using my bathroom? I don't like sharing my bathroom. It's gross. Ugh. Germs, everything. Oh, but you're fine with sharing saliva with her and being all wah, 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 as if it's not gross. Same thing. Shush, she might hear. Also, no, I've never kissed her. Only Blake has. Hey, stupidity is contagious, you know. Get away from me. I don't want to get contaminated. And go get ready if you're coming with us. And if I mean you are coming, period. Okay. If you insist, I'll go get ready. But Bella, seriously, get out of my bathroom! Ooh, these fruits look so good. I love being healthy. It makes me look younger than I already am. Anastasia, aren't you like 32? <laughs> I am not 32. I am 30, okay? Wait a minute. How old am I? <laughs> am I the only one that knows my age? I'm 21. And how old are you again? 12? Aren't you supposed to be in school? Oh, shut up, Mason. What do you mean I'm 12 years old? I am a grown woman. Can we stop talking about age? It's making me feel insecure. Did you just take my food? No. Mmm. My. Ah! Did you just take one of my watermelons? What? No. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. I can't believe you would do this to me. You know watermelon is my favorite fruit. You know what my favorite thing was? My toilet. Now you know how it feels. Mm. Really? You steal my food because I use a toilet that is meant to be used? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, by my butt cheeks, not yours. Oh, shut up. Oh, these two so love each other. <laughs> my plan is working. <laughs> Are you good, Anastasia? You're gonna get us kicked out. Um, I 
Anyways, so, Mason, what have you been up to? It's been a bit. Why do you care? I was being polite. Um, Ow, oh, the sun is blocking my eyes, my blue eyes. The light doesn't hurt. While it's hurting me. Then go sit next to Bella and stop complaining, you baboon. Ah, oh, much better. Bro, what are you, a vampire? Edward Collins, who? <laughs> I look so much better than him. Okay, Mr. Delusional. You're calling me delusional? You're more delusional than every single person in the entire world. Ugh, whatever. No, but actually, like, what have you been up to? Have you been up to nothing and you're just embarrassed to tell me that? I've been good. Meanwhile. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. When is it gonna be my turn? Oh, and another one of my pastimes include pretending to be someone I'm not. But you never know that. Uh, but what about you, watermelon head? Wait, no way. A Mason asking how I'm doing? Oh, this is like a rare sighting. Well, I've been good. I've been spending time with friends. And Blake, sometimes. <laughs> And my sister moved back to town. That's been nice. Sissy, I'm back. Oh, uh, you have a sister? Yeah, her name's Allie. She's a bit older than me. That's cool. Ah, who cares? Although I do want them to get to know each other. And speaking of college slash uni, I've been taking some online courses and watching tons of videos because I'm going to finally apply to pursue my dream of becoming an actress and maybe do some business on the side. Oh, really? An actress? That actually really suits you. And would suit me, since Bella hasn't realized I'm Blake. I'm a pretty good actor, actually. So, just wondering, what university are you thinking of? Well, I'm gonna send submissions to multiple, but my dream school is DreamHeart Academy. Apparently, it has the best education in every single program in all of Robloxia. No way. I'm studying there. Well, I mean, I was, but I took a break for a bit. Wait, actually? DreamHeart? Oh, you are a woman of taste. Are you really smart, Bella? Because I know you don't have the money to go there. I mean, that's why I'm applying. It's honestly amazing. It's extremely competitive and pricey, though. So I'm not sure if that will be your cup of tea. Yeah, I have really good grades and a 4.0 GPA, but I don't know if financial aid would be enough, actually. Going to the same school as her would make it even harder to continue this Blake facade. Maybe I should tell her the truth soon, even though she's probably gonna hate me. <gasps> Wait! <laughs> What, what is, is wrong, wrong with, with you? you? After I spent almost the whole day with the Sterlings, I went back home and called Phantom to catch up while we played some video games. And while we were talking, the craziest thing happened. So, bestie, how was babysitting with Ellie? And, you know, Mason, I know you don't like him, but <laughs> he's hot. I forgot to tell you about that. I mean, it went pretty well, but something weird kind of happened with Mason. Weird? What do you mean weird? Did you guys kiss or something? What? No! Bestie! No, I'm with Blake. Right? Well, kind of. Not really. But no, basically this like one weird guy started hitting on me. And then Mason got all over protective of me. And he said he was my boyfriend. Back off from my girlfriend. I was like, what? Don't you think that's weird? So let me get this straight. This creepy guy was hitting on you. And Mason know that you're going out with his cousin. But he claimed to be your boyfriend? How would Blake feel? Did you tell him this? Uh, no. I didn't say anything. I mean, besides, me and Blake aren't official. We still have like a situation thing going on. Wait, are you kidding me? Girl, it's been a while. I'm over here thinking you guys were going out by now. What's going on? Uh, I don't know. I mean, every time I ask to hang out in real life, he's always busy. I guess it runs in the Sterling family. I mean, I guess, Bestie, but I mean, even a busy person should make time for you. Ugh, whatever. Guys are stupid. I know. I'm trying not to think so much on it, but sometimes it makes me wonder, does Blake even really like me? Like, am I not good enough to be with a Sterling? Girl, get that out of your head. You're a queen and you don't need anybody but you. You're right, Bestie. I really screwed up. I can't believe I ghosted her instead of explaining what's going on with me. I'm such an idiot too for kissing her knowing we can't be together. Ah, oh, shoot, it's really late. My parents are probably sleeping. I gotta be quiet. But hey, at least I had the best day of my life. Uh, Mom? Son, you're back really late. Yeah. I'm sorry. I was on a date with the most amazing girl. We had such an amazing time together. If all goes well, I would even quit this job for her. What? June, do you hear yourself? Quit your job for a girl? I mean, I've already made a lot of money from this. And our family is rich, so it doesn't matter. Besides, I think this could potentially be something real. I don't care if we're rich. 
You're not supposed to be dating outside of your job. Especially while we're living here in Brookhaven. You've discussed this with your father, June. Why can't I, Mom? Shouldn't I be able to make my own decisions? I'm not a little kid anymore. You know we're moving back to Japan, June. We're only living here for a bit until father is done doing business with the Sterlings. Okay, and? What does that have to do with anything? This is my love life we're talking here. Not everything has to be about money and business, Mom. Lower your tone when you're speaking to your mother. First, you're breaking the rules of the company. You cannot date clients you meet on the website. Secondly, this is not our permanent home, and I don't want you dating a random, desperate, not educated American girl. But you don't even know her. But I know you, and the type of girls you like. And besides, she's clearly desperate if she had to hire you on a website. No woman should have to pay a man to date her. That's not very nice, Mom. And besides, tell that to Dad. He's the one who made the website. I'm being honest, and I've told you before. Long distance is for fools, and it won't work. So don't be silly and waste this girl's time. If you want to find a lover so badly, go touch grass and get a degree. Whatever, Mom. I'm gonna do whatever I want for once. You disappoint me. Oh, and don't forget we're going on a cruise the second week of August. Your father and I need a vacation. Whatever. Uh, I'm finally home. I really was not expecting that date to last that long. The website said it could only be max two hours. So I guess if he's breaking the rules, he must really like me. Honestly though, that was the best date ever. Although I've never actually even been on a date. Technically, this is my first official date since Alex doesn't fully count, I guess. Either way, I'm so happy that he asked me on a second date. Hopefully it can happen soon so we can spend some more time together. Aww. But anyways, I need to take these heels and my makeup off and shower. I feel kind of stinky, especially after being at a music in park all night. Oh, but he's honestly so cute. I hope this could be something special. What's up, honey? Why did you wake up? It's June again. He just told me that he's into one of his clients, apparently. He knows the rules of the company. Just because he is my son does not excuse him for any exceptions. Don't worry. I took care of him. He will not be seeing this girl again. He shall only date the girl we approve for him. Good. Eventually, we should fire him from the company. He shouldn't be dating random girls anyways, especially considering our family status. He could ruin everything. <sighs> now let's go to sleep. Playing with the monkey, playing with the monkey. Oh, hey, big bro. Hey, May. I need advice. I'm only seven, but my teachers say I'm really smart, so I will help you. So, uh, I went on a date today with this girl named Bella. And she's really sweet and pretty. Ooh, what's she look like? Sweet and pretty? Like Coco Melon? Hmm, I guess so. Show me! Uh, I don't have a picture saved, but let me get her Instagram. Ooh, she's so watermelon. I love her hair. You guys should get married. And have cute babies. Like Coco Melon. Wait, how do you know that? Do you even know where babies come from? Um, I heard that they come from the sky. Yeah. Sky. No, but seriously, mom doesn't want me to date her. Because we're moving back home in a couple months. Unless dad extends our stay. I mean, it makes sense. But I say you follow your heart. That's what people say in movies, so maybe you should do it. If you like her, just date her and keep secret, okay? What if I get caught or we end up moving? Mm -hmm. Then just be honest and end things unless she come visit us. Ooh, and buy her lots and lots of candy. Okay, I'll secretly go on a couple more dates with her and then get to know her more and see if it can work between us. Yeah! Good big bro. I gonna sleep. Get out! Oh, okay. Good night, May. Good night, big bro. Big bro so stupid. I gonna get married before him. we had was special. I need to man up and see her while I still can. Let me call her. Oh man, I hope she picks up. I know it's stupid, but I don't really care. I'm still gonna try. Oh my gosh, June is calling me. June is calling you. Girl, I thought you blocked him. No, I, I never blocked him. Although, I, I probably should have. <laughs> Girl, what are you doing? You should block him because remember, he ghosted you the first time and then the second time he kissed you and then he ghosted you again. I mean, yeah, you're right, but I just pretend he doesn't exist, you know? Girl, you know he is up to no good. Oh, hell no. And he's calling you in the middle of the night. You know he's up to something sus. I don't trust it. No, why would you say that? No. What if he's in trouble? Girl, that is what 911 is for. Have him call that. Do not pick up that phone.
Oh! Bessie, even when we were dating, he would barely call. We were always hanging out in person or texting. It must be important. Then we see him in his funeral. Okay, you're crazy. I'm gonna mute for a second. I'm gonna pick up and I'll let you know what happens, okay? No, Bestie, don't do it! Oh, that, she already muted me. Should I really be talking to him? The last time we interacted was him kissing me. Oh, wait, it stopped ringing. Uh, whatever, he probably called me by accident. There's there's no way he was calling me on purpose. Uh, why is she not picking up? She's with another guy. I'm not gonna think about that right now. Let me try again. Let me call her. Philip, please pick up. Oh my gosh, Bessie. He's calling again. This is definitely intentional. What do you mean? I thought you already picked up the phone. The ringer stopped ringing and I wasn't gonna call him. Because then I look desperate. But I'm clearly not. Girl, you are a clown. Um, pa, yeah, so. Okay, I'm gonna pick up. Um, hello? Hey, Bella. How are you? It's so weird. He's calling me like nothing ever happened. Okay, Bella, act normal. Don't be super dry, but also don't be super friendly. Because you don't want to make him think that you like him. Because, like, you obviously don't. But you're also not mean. So just talk normal and be polite. Hey, Demior. Um, I'm doing great. Is everything okay? Well, about that, I've been thinking about everything that happened between us these past months and how things left off. And I really want to meet you and talk to you in person. Wait a second, he wants to meet up with me in person? Is he trying to get back with me? Because, like, I already gave him a chance and he messed up. And, like, either way, he better not be because I like someone else. Um, I promise I won't waste your time. Uh, maybe I should give him a chance. It, it seems like it's important. Otherwise, I don't think he would be calling me. Yeah, um, does tomorrow work? Yeah. That's fine. I actually have to go. Um, I'll text you later, though. All right. See ya. Bye. Bye. We're actually meeting up tomorrow. Wait, what? <laughs> So yeah, I was not expecting June to call me and much less want to see me in person But it turned out to be something really important, which ended up kind of breaking my heart Well, I guess this is it. Wait a second. Is it the place where we first met? Why did June have me meet him here? I guess it's for the sake of the old times Oh, um, by the way, you look uh you look amazing tonight. Sorry, I'm just a little nervous. You look like a diamond in the sky. Oh, look, he's right there. Why am I so nervous? It's literally just June. But I feel kind of nauseous. Considering the last time we spoke, we literally kissed. Calm down, Bella. Hey, Bella, you made it. Thank you for taking the time to uh, meet me. Yeah, of course. Um, it's, it's nice to see you again. You look really nice, by the way. Um, thank you. You don't look too bad yourself. You look a little bit different. Did you get a haircut or something? Yeah, I had it cut. My mom and sister kept making fun of me, saying it looked like a bird's nest. Yeah, that sounds just like May. She bullies you a lot. Yeah, my sister really misses you, by the way. All right, let's uh, sit down. Let's take a seat. Before anything, I have a question. Why didn't you take us here? Because this is the place we first met, and I remembered you really liked eating here, so... Yeah, I remember. It was very nice, and the food was really good. Man, this sushi looks so good. I could literally kiss it. Man, I wish I was that sushi. Also, um, what did you want to talk to me about? You said it was important on the call. Dude, just cut through the chase and tell her everything on how you've been feeling these past months. She deserves to know the truth. Spit it out. First of all, I want to apologize for ever making you feel sad. I've been reflecting on the past and I really did value every moment we had together. Initially, I wasn't planning on actually developing feelings for someone. So when you came around, everything kind of changed for me. I mean, I even broke the rules of the company by dating you. I don't regret it all. But when we started dating for a while my family unexpectedly told me that we might be moving away it was never confirmed but i was too scared to tell you and i didn't want to waste your time so i just ended up going silent so the whole reason why you ghosted me out of nowhere was because you were potentially moving away june you could have just told me that i would have understood and we could have tried to make things work I know, Bella. I just thought that it would hurt less if we ended things before we got too serious and I potentially moved away. <sighs> That's the thing, though. You never ended anything with me. You just went silent. And when we tried to talk, you kissed me and we both didn't communicate till now. If you really cared about me, why didn't you tell me anything? I was really sad. I thought long distance would have been a deal breaker for you. Well, for me, the real deal breaker is you're not even wanting to try. I'm sorry, Bella. But wait, is this what this meetup is all about? Are you actually moving away? Is it official now? Yeah, Bella, me and my family are moving to Japan. Wait, what? Japan? You're, you're moving to Japan? Yeah. I mean, that that's amazing, but oh my gosh, that's on the other side of the world. I know I shouldn't care that much, but why do I feel like I just want to cry? Bella. 
You've been silent. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm sorry. I, I got lost in my train of thought. Understandable. I just wanted to make sure you're okay. But yeah, this is exactly why I didn't want to say anything. It's too complicated. Yeah, I totally understand. I appreciate you telling me rather than me finding out later on. And despite everything, I'm gonna miss you too. I'm gonna miss you too, Bella. Thank you for every moment we have shared together. I hope you find someone who's gonna make you happier than I ever did. I also want you to follow your dreams and become the best actress ever. You deserve the best. I'll always be your number one fan. Thank you, June. That, that really means a lot. So I guess that was the end of me and June. Well, at least for now. Goodbye, cousin. Have a safe flight. And don't let Vance irritate you too much. I'll try. Might be hard though. Don't be intimidated by him. He's just a bossy rich man who happens to be your dad. You got this. Thanks, Anna. I'm lucky to have you. Well, off I go. I'll see you in a couple days, all right? Goodbye. I love you, cousin. I love you too, Anastasia. You know, he may be arrogant and stupid sometimes, but I know he has a good heart. He's a true sterling no matter what. I hope nobody recognizes me. I'm not really in the mood to talk to anyone. It's time to go back home, I guess. Ugh, where's my gate? It's been forever since I went to the airport. Let me see what the sign says. G12? Where even is that? I guess I can listen to some educational podcasts while I wait for my flight to start boarding. Welcome to the Karen Podcast. Today we're talking about reasons why men suck. Most of them don't have money. They skip leg day. If they have a female friend, he's cheating on you. What is this stupid podcast? Did baby Ellie mess with my phone? Ugh, I'd rather watch Skibbity Toilet than this. Maybe I can ask that guy for help. He seems chill. Hey, do you know where the gate G12 is? Oh, yeah, I got you. Um, from what I recall, it should be right down the hall in the corner. Okay, thanks, man. Have a safe flight. Of course, I wish you the same. Found it. That guy seems nice. I wonder where he's off to. I can't believe I'm finally leaving everything behind in Brookhaven. Although it's been a long time, I'll always care about Bella and the bonds I've made here. Goodbye, Brookhaven. For now. See you soon, father. Oh! So you thought it was over? This is just the beginning. See you in season two! <laughs>